Hi everyone. Uh, now we are going to learn about medical law and ethics. See in this chapter, first of all, we are going to learn all the functions of Central Medical Council. Central Medical Council means PMC. After that, after that, we are going to learn all the rights of a doctor. And then all the infamous conducts means any of the actions of the doctor which can be considered as illegal or disgraceful or maybe sometimes if there will be any negligent act which can result into the death of the patient or severe injury to the patient that will be considered as medical negligent act right so we are going to learn each and everything in detail so what are the functions of central medical council pmc first of all medical registration after that maintaining the standard of medical education across the country recognition of foreign medical education appeal against disciplinary action and for that issuing of warning notice so now the question is meaning of medical registration do understand after completion of your mbbs every doctor is supposed to get registered with pmc you have to apply for the license and after that you will get a registration number and with the help of that registration number you will be allowed legally to practice medicine in your country now the question is what is the need of license number do understand all the doctors all of us are practicing along with medical legal system we are bounded with our legal system we have to support the legal system so every doctor is having one license number sometimes it could be possible that a doctor is found to be guilty for any of his actions maybe the doctor is responsible for the death of a patient maybe the same doctor was found in any kind of exploitation or maybe in organ smuggling so if anyone is going to file a complaint against the doctor so that registration number will be taken out and if that doctor will found to be guilty so there can be imprisonment or there can be fine or the same degree or the same license will be suspended maybe for a week maybe for a month or maybe for the lifetime so with the help of this registration number each and every doctor is under the supervision of government and this is necessary because we are supposed to work with the legal system second medical education how central medical council is helping in maintaining the standard of medical education of every mbbs college and and the pg college i hope you know that every year there will be inspection in your medical college in your medical hospital so why this is happening see every time there will be inspection at your medical college and hospital by the team of doctors and they will be from pmc why they are doing so see this is a rule that if there is a hospital of 500 beds or 1000 bedded hospital or only 200 bedded okay so as per the number of beds as per the number of patients there should be a particular number of doctors and the paramedical staffs emergency beds icu beds ventilators all these should be there as per the number of patients so this is the rule if if there is insufficiency of doctors or paramedical staffs or icu beds then after the inspection license of the same hospital will be cancelled so to maintain the standard every time a team of doctors will come and they will do the inspection to maintain the standard and now next is recognition of foreign medical education first of all see here if you have done your mbbs from any foreign medical university like if you have done from russia georgia ukraine or some other country 
first of all that university should be recognized by who and after that they should also be recognized by your pmc okay first thing second thing after completion of your mbbs you have to get back to your country and then you have to write your licensing exam and once you are going to pass the licensing exam then only you will receive the license number of your country so in this manner foreign medical education will also be recognized suppose if our doctor has done any mistake suppose if a female patient is there and doctor is male and suppose if doctor has done any kind of mischievous activities maybe he touched the female patient inappropriately or maybe he exploited the female patient so patient can file a complaint against the doctor and after that action will be taken against that doctor if doctor will found to be guilty yes first of all in the beginning there will be warning notice and after that maybe as per the severity of crime he could be suspended also so these are the functions of central medical council okay so when you are going to pass your mbbs and when you are going to apply for the registration number at that time you have to sign on a paper that is oath paper earlier this was hypocritic oath now there is modification of hypocritic oath a revised version of hypocritic oath which is called as declaration of geneva so across the world this is considered as a code of medical ethics so what is written in this oath first basic thing is that i'm not going to discriminate my patient on the ground of caste creed and religion i'm not going to misuse my power i will respect my teachers and my seniors i will not discriminate my patient even under the power under the threat i will not go against my duty so every doctor is supposed to sign this paper this hypocritic oath revised version is called as declaration of geneva so this is a code of conduct code of ethics this is medical ethics a doctor cannot work against medical ethics and one more function of central medical council is to issue a certificate of good conduct so now the question is what is good conduct certificate good conduct certificate suppose you have received the registration number of your country and now if you want to practice in uk or usa australia or some other country so first of all even after passing plab exam or usmle exam you have to get a good conduct certificate from your pmc why this is needed suppose after completion of your mbbs or after your post graduation suppose if you have been practicing in your country for 4 years or 5 years 4 years or 5 years all right now you already have passed usmd or plab now usa or uk they are asking first of all you get a good conduct certificate good conduct certificate so here you have to apply in your central medical council central medical council is going to do inquiry wherever you have worked your registration number is already there so even if you have worked in four or five states in every state inquiry will be done what was the conduct of this doctor whether he was a good doctor or a doctor who had so many warning notices right but from every state or in every hospital if your reputation was good if there was no any complaint against you then yes you are going to get the good conduct certificate if at least for one time or two times if you got suspended from the hospital 
if you were found to be guilty then it could be possible that pmc will not give you the good conduct certificate and after that you may not be able to practice in some other countries so who is going to issue you a good conduct certificate your central medical council pmc so please understand that wherever you are going to practice you have to maintain a good reputation and you have to maintain the medical ethics so one is called as medical ethics second is called as medical etiquette how to differentiate these two see here medical ethics we cannot work against medical ethics suppose if there is a rich patient or poor patient if i am going to discriminate my patient on the ground of richness or poverty it means i am working against medical ethics if a doctor will work against medical ethics he will be punished working against medical ethics is punishable offense and next what is medical etiquette see here courtesy which are followed between members of same profession suppose if i have a patient who is the family member of of my fellow colleague i uh, suppose if my patient is a doctor or uh, suppose if my patient is a medical staff or if my patient is the daughter of a senior doctor see this is my courtesy that i'm not going to take my consultation fees okay so this is called as medical etiquette but even if i want i can take the consultation fees so if you work against medical etiquette it is not a punishable offense not a punishable offense but if you work against medical ethics that is punishable offense so what are the punishments given by pmc for illegal acts or unethical acts first of all warning notice after that a doctor will be suspended for few days to few weeks to few months maybe if his act was extremely bad or extremely illegal so as per the severity of crime severity of negligent act it could be possible that he could be punished more or his degree will be seized or license will be seized for the lifetime this is called as permanent erasure of name from the register which is called as penal erasure which is called as penal erasure this is also called as professional death after this a doctor cannot practice anywhere so when a doctor is going to get the penal erasure from central medical council and after that and after that the doctor has to seek the support of higher court and after that there will be further inquiry so penal erasure which is called as professional death sentence so what will happen here there will be removal of the name of doctor from medical register so in which conditions there will be removal of name of the doctor from the register whenever there will be serious professional misconduct or infamous conduct and some other instances are there where there can be removal of the name of doctor from the medical register first after death of the doctor second if the name of a person is listed in medical register by any means of fraud or impersonation what is the meaning of impersonation ek doctor ke degree pe koi dusra fake insaan kaam kar raha hai as we have learned that for serious professional misconduct or serious infamous conduct there can be penal erasure 
So, as per the severity of professional misconduct, as per the severity of infamous conduct, first of all, a doctor will be getting a warning notice. After that, there can be suspension for time being. And if it will be more severe, then there can be penal erasure. We are going to understand infamous conduct in detail. Infamous conduct means what? Professional misconduct. So what is the meaning of infamous conduct? Any act of a doctor which is considered to be disgraceful or dishonorable will be considered as professional misconduct. Who will be the main judge here? Who is going to judge that the act of a doctor was actually mean? That was disgraceful. Doctor of good repute will judge it. So first of all, there will be warning notice for infamous conduct. Always remember that this depends upon the severity of misconduct. So first of all, warning notice will be given. Now we are going to understand what are the infamous conducts. And for that, a doctor can get warning notice or the temporary suspension or penal erasure. Suppose if a doctor is fully drunk. Suppose if a doctor is fully drunk and he is operating. I hope you have seen this movie. In this movie, Mr. Shahid Kapoor has played the role of an addicted doctor. In that movie, he was an alcoholic orthopedician. So even he used to be drunk, he used to operate. So the question is that if a doctor is drunk and then he is operating in operation theater, do you think this is a normal thing? Obviously no. In this condition, this doctor can harm the patient. If he will be severe drugged, he may not be able to differentiate artery and vein. He can rupture multiple blood vessels. Instead of removing the gallbladder, he can remove some other organ. It could be possible. So if a doctor is drunk and if he is operating, this will be considered as infamous conduct. So in this manner, there are so many other acts which are considered as infamous conduct. So we are going to learn one by one. So first of all, alcoholism or any kind of addiction. Suppose if a doctor is on duty. Suppose if a doctor is on duty. Actually, he is on 24 hours duty. So he has to be on duty from 9 a.m. to 9 a.m. of next day. Now, what happened in the evening time? Actually, patient load is not that much. Okay, ward is somewhat empty and all patients appear to be stable.